So yesterday it rained all day, low pressure. And today it rained off and on, but if you look up behind me at these clouds, those kind of whiter, puffier, uh, scattered out cumulus clouds, that's usually indicative of post frontal conditions. It's high pressure building in after a low has passed. Usually means pretty crappy bass fishing. If I could have got out yesterday or even the day before when a low pressure system's coming in or when it's on top of you, those are the best days to fish. And I want to go over that more, what barometric pressure means to bass in general, because it really can dictate what days you choose to go fishing. You know, you'd think, oh, it's sunny, it's nice, let's go fishing. But this could be some of the worst time you ever spend on the water. I'm going to yank this thing on the trailer and uh, run home and let's go over uh, weather and barometric pressure. So fundamentally speaking, barometric pressure fluctuations affect bass. How they affect bass is where it gets interesting. And that's what I kind of want to go over. This will be predominantly for Western Washington weather conditions and patterns. Barometric pressure is universal. It's everywhere and it will affect fish wherever you're fishing but other parts of the weather will coincide with the barometric pressure and create area specific fishing conditions for western washington and what we deal with i'm going to go over weather and barometric pressure things i've found and noticed over the past few decades okay what is barometric pressure this guy tom lish right here and this is the only part of this i'm going to read simply put barometric pressure is the measurement of air pressure in the atmosphere specifically the measurement of weight exerted by air molecules at a given point on earth barometric pressure changes constantly and is always different depending on where the reading takes place so barometric pressure is a constantly fluctuating atmospheric condition that you can't see it you don't feel it because the pressure inside of us typically is greater than the pressure of the air so it doesn't really affect us but boy does it affect the fish getting more towards the weather side of things and then I'll explain how barometric pressure fluctuations coincide with uh, our weather patterns so weather patterns regardless of where you live in the US are dictated by the jet stream so the upper atmospheric winds that blow and they move all the weather around what we do deal with is cold fronts and low pressure systems that come out of the Gulf of Alaska and sweep down slap us in the face what I want you to think of when you're thinking of low pressure in the the atmosphere is if you had a flat surface and you poured some water on it and then you took your finger and pushed down wherever you push down with your finger all that water is going to rush to that low spot okay think of in the atmosphere the same thing happens but with so where a low pressure is it is pulling to it to try to stabilize and equal out that pressure. That's why we get so many windstorms around low pressure systems and you get heavier rains because as it's pulling that air in, it's compressing all of that moisture in the atmosphere and clouds and it's all condensing in and the skies get darker and here comes the rain and the wind and all that stuff. That's just a small synopsis of what low pressure means to us. It means some type of weather change or uh, incoming weather system. System. So given that, if you look at this graphic right here on King 5, right up in here where my cursor is, that is a spinning low pressure. The air is coming in, the low pressure is here, it hits it, and it makes it make that hook. As that low pressure, the air comes around it, it makes an eddy like you would see in a river. So anytime you're watching the news at night, that's the stuff you want to look for. So right now, if you look where my cursor is now, we have a mild high pressure ridge in that it's kind of hooking this way so as high pressure builds that all the weather has to go around it think of high pressure as a rock in a river the weather has to, is going to go around it low pressure more of a down sweeping counterclockwise rotation high pressure is going to be more in a clockwise for us when low pressure is coming it smacks into a high pressure system it's going to typically go up and over this high pressure right here where my cursor is that's kind of diving off more more down into southern Oregon and high pressure is trying to build it's just weak so eventually this big band of moisture right here is going to push that high pressure out of the way and that's going to come into us if I'm guessing right now I'm gonna say Friday <laughs> so as close as we are to sea level think about high pressure for us being about 30.20 and consider low pressure for us being about 29.20 
eight zero. So it's not a huge fluctuation, but it changes fish behavior dramatically. So I pulled up AccuWeather.com here just to kind of illustrate what I'm talking about. Yesterday we had pretty much solid rain for most of the day, so we had a, a low pressure over us. It has kind of slid off now. Behind it is a weak high pressure system. You get a mix of clouds giving way to some sun, where it says right here for Thursday. That's that broken kind of puffy white clouds here and there, but one dark cloud might come over and rain on you a little bit. That's not good weather for us. That pressure is rising back up and it's breaking that atmospheric stuff apart. If you look at Friday here, a passing afternoon shower. So if I went to hourly, starting about 6 a.m. when you might be getting to a boat launch, 7 a.m. You can see not a lot of change going on. 47, 49, maybe a slightly falling barometer as the clouds begin to thicken and the front kind of comes in closer. And you get up around 2, 3, 4 p.m. We actually get a little bit of rain. It might be a little bit of a, of a low pressure, but it's not a dramatic low pressure. Okay, so let's look at the seven-day forecast on King 5 right now. So if you look at it's Saturday through Thursday, I don't even know if these dates are correct. I'm assuming they are. So a.m. showers and then partly sunny on Saturday, increasing p.m. rain on Sunday, rainy and windy on Monday. Now, the significance of that from a barometric pressure standpoint is Saturday, you've got a front has passed, so you've got low pressure giving way to higher pressure after the a.m. showers. You've got that partly sunny, so you've now got a rising barometer for the day on Saturday. That lasts into Sunday until you get to Sunday evening where it will start to fall again. The barometric pressure will start to fall again as the next front comes in. Then you get to Monday and it's rain and wind. That is the low pressure system. That is the storm. So from a fishing standpoint, Saturday early morning might still be decent. But when that shifts and those clouds break up and you get those puffy cumulus cr clouds all over the place, it, it I don't know why, but the fish just go negative. They'll kind of move around and, and get maybe tighter to cover and they are, they're get a little lethargic and not as eager to bite. As that high pressure is in place, unless it lasts for 24 to 48 hours, the fishing is going to be tough. Once it lasts 24 to 48 hours, the fish will kind of start to resume a little bit of normal activity level. However, on this instance, that Monday low pressure, Sunday night would be a great time to fish because the barometer is going to start to fall as that low pressure comes in. Monday, be on the water, unless it's just too windy to be on the water. Monday would be the day to be on the water because that low pressure is probably getting down to where it's going to be at its lowest. Those bass are going to move shallow and hunt. I don't know why it affects bass that way, but that is how it affects bass. When it's high pressure right after a cold front, they don't want a whole lot to do with anything. But when it's a falling barometer, when we've come out a nice sunny time, you know, nice sunny day, and that storm's coming in, when that barometric pressure starts to drop, go. if you can do it, you need to be on the water. You want to be aware of lightning and things like that. Personally, I don't care. And I fish in a lightning all the time. To each their own. I do not advocate fishing in a lightning storm. That stuff can kill you. Don't do it. That being said, I've literally been on one trip up on Lake Whatcom where I was laying on the front deck of my boat still casting <laughs> because it seemed like every other cast was a four pound smallmouth. I was hugging people's docks. I was trying not to be the highest point around. It can be phenomenal fishing. The lower that barometric pressure gets, the better the fishing. That's the, the nuts and bolts of it. There are two words associated with weather in this state that absolutely just get me fired up and that is atmospheric instability atmospheric instability means that barometer is going up down up down up down up down it's crazy freaking storms and weather moving in and it's coming and going and passing and one minute the barometer can be on an upswing the next minute it's on a downswing and that absolutely drives the bass crazy atmospheric instability that is going to mean typically a chance for thunder storms. It's a time to exercise caution. If there's any chance that you think there might be lightning in your area, I advise don't go fishing. That level of atmospheric instability can be absolutely crazy fishing. Uh, use your best judgment. 
I'm not encouraging anybody to fish in lightning storms or in thunderstorms or anything of the sort. What I do personally is my own business. I know from experience that those conditions, it's ridiculous fishing. So jumping over here on good old Amazon, you can buy barometric pressure gauges if you wanted to keep one on your boat. But in this day and age, they do have weather apps where they have all their sensors and weather stations all over the place and they monitor the uh, weather real time and they will forecast uh, barometric pressure fluctuations and you can kind of gauge your fishing time by what the app says. App says falling barometer, go fishing on this day, go fishing on that day. Years ago, when I got my tracker, so it was this would have been the year 1999. It seemed like it was springtime and it was raining all the time and I didn't want to take my boat out. I just got it brand new. I didn't want to get it all trashed, but I kind of didn't have a choice. So I got so frustrated one time waiting for nice weather that I decided, you know what? I'll, that's it. I'm done. I'm going to go take the weather head on and I'm going to make this work. I hooked up my boat. I started heading for the freeway as I was heading for the, I was on the overpass basically. I looked south and it was gray and nasty looking and I looked north and it was black. <laughs> and I turned left and went north and I'm like, I'm driving into the epicenter of this nasty freaking weather and I've just had it. I've got rain gear. I get wet. So what? I'm fishing. And I'm going to tell you right now, it was a phenomenal day of largemouth fishing. Big fish, numerous fish. It was enough that it made me right then and there really start paying attention to weather and how it affects bass. And from that moment on, it's sunny skies and a nice high pressure day. I'll mow my lawn. If it's been sunny for a couple of days, I'm more inclined to go fishing. But if it was raining on Saturday and it's going to be sunny on Sunday, I'm typically staying home and getting chores done. Barometric pressure is something that you want to pay attention to. The weather does not create barometric pressure fluctuations. Barometric pressure fluctuations create the weather. And that is something that you need to understand as well. When you see weather systems coming in, you absolutely know that a low pressure system, low barometric pressure is what's causing that weather. And as that comes in, your high barometric pressure is going to start to fall. And when that starts to fall till it's at its lowest point and during the low pressure, that is when it is the best time to be on the water fishing. It can suck. It can be brutal. You know, you can deal with some crazy winds and some downpour rains and your boat's filling with water. But I'm going to tell you right now. It is more than worth your time to invest in best rain gear you can afford, rubber boots if you have to to keep your feet dry, and get your butt out there and get all your stuff wet and deal with it when you get home, but you want to be out there fishing. And another thing, if you get a summer day, summertime storms, July, August, even early September, and you get heavy rain and very little wind to maybe just a light breeze, you can literally throw a buzz bait the entire day and smash them. That's what barometric pressure does to fish. It puts them shallow, it puts them on the hunt, and by shallow, I don't necessarily mean up on shallow flats. They will just come up in the water column as well. You can hit fish out in open water as well on spinner baits and stuff. The fish will move up, they want to stay around cover, they, but they won't necessarily just pile up onto the, the flats. The fish that are on the flats are going to go ape and they're going to want to feed and they'll eat just about anything you can throw past them. Keep that in mind, you know, make friends with the weather. And I used to keep track of that stuff. I used to keep track of moon phases, weather, and I had a sheet that I used to use. And I would write all that stuff down. And I did that for 20 years. And I started to associate moon phases with what the fishing was like. Weather conditions with what the fishing was like. And I can tell you from 20 years of keeping that data that low pressure systems and moon phases 100% absolutely affect bass's behavior. Stay plugged into that stuff. I watch the weather every single night. I'll watch the satellite and just see how things, what way things are spinning and where things are and how it's moving and I'll make my decisions on that. Staying tuned in with the weather and paying attention to that and understanding, do some reading on barometric pressure, but just understand that those low pressure systems are just absolute bass bonanzas.